Wow, welcome back. Look who it is. Look who it is. It's Refi, consumed by shame. Destroyed, unmade by his hubris. Running away from Sif. First of all, this elevator needs looking at. We've got actually a lot of like loose ends to tie up before we uh, do the next story thing. So I thought it would be quite good um, to do like a few loose ends first. Oh look, look who it is, it's fucking Star Trek dude. <sighs> Bro, what the fuck, dude? My head! Um... Oh, this guy, right. Yeah, he's like... He's like, you, you rang the bell! You, you bastard! And then he says... You, you will never ring the second one! <laughs> no way! Trapdoor. Here. How did you die, chief? <laughs> oh, man. Do you know what? If 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 I'd never played this game before, that would be such a fucking spoiler. If you remember from maybe part one, uh, we had a little. We squared up. We squared up against this uh, Drake, and then it flew away. Well, um, let's just say today it' gonna fly away for the last time. This guy's got no chill watch. Yeah, what about your buddy as well? Yeah, well, yeah, right, okay, dude, what did you think that shield was gonna do for you? <laughs> oh my god, humiliated. Here he comes, can you see him? Uh-oh, get ready. Mm. Nice one, dude. You finished him for me. Right. So, getting this guy's a bit tricky, if I'm being honest. Um, I really should have rested at the bonfire, just in case I died. Um, okay, right, I've got to go. No time to think. Right. Now, the tempting thing would be to attack his, uh, his butt. Right, this is it. This is the ultimate game of chicken. Oh, he won that game. Okay. Come on. Yes! Alright. Bug in his AI. His pathfinding fucks up here. You have to be really fucking careful because he can reactivate. <laughs> um... As long as he just does that attack, it's fine, though. Alright. Back up a little bit. Basically, if you just... It's this strip of terrain... Um, ...that confuses him. And if you move beyond it, as you just saw there... ...it, it reactivates his AI, so... Oh no, this is a bad one. Okay. This is bad news, actually. This could be... Yep. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky there's a family guy. <laughs> Oh, okay, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, no, and he pushed me into a bad spot. Yeah, right, okay. That's fine. It's, it's kind of a dice roll. It's a little bit of a dice roll, because sometimes... He instantly... He instantly bugs out, and sometimes he, um... He takes a minute. You have to be in, like... Exactly, like, exactly the right spot for it to trigger. I'm just gonna eat a sandwich real quick. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Sorry. That noise I made, it was making me think of, um, Sucks to Be You by Prozac. <laughs> 
I love that song so much. It is funny that he's this enemy is designed only to go in this area. He never leaves this area, by the way. And for some reason, when they made his animations, they didn't think about the place where they were going to put- Oh, fuck off, dude. Yes! He's kind of angled a bit funny, but we got him. Bro, are you serious? I don't have enough Estus to keep fucking around. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I actually got mad then. A fucking computer game dragon. Right. Sorry I keep calling him a dragon. I know he's not really. Sorry, law. Law. Ah! This is bad. This could kill me. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, it did kill me. Astute observation, Refi. <laughs> Don't come down while I'm eating. Oh my god. Guess what? <laughs> Fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> Step back a little bit. Oh, fuck me. Square up, square up. Or not. Or I could just not square up. This guy is like, it is like playing with the chicken world champion. <laughs> the ultimate, the deadliest game. Fuck off, dude. <gasps> yes. Blah! Blah! What the fuck, dude? Okay, thank you. Now your little tantrum's over. Oh, you're a bitch! <laughs> We got him, dude. And we got 10,000 souls out of it. Nice, we can actually level up. But there's like a theory. Um, there's a theory that Griggs is actually a hitman sent to kill an NPC we meet later. Um, and I really like that theory, so I always go with it. Um, basically, um, there's another person from the Dragon School here who was a teacher called Big Hat Logan. That's actually his name. And um, Big Hat Logan um, seems to have fled from Vinheim um, to pursue this... Uh, this research he's been wanting to do for a long time, and it's into um, this lost sorcery, basically. And it, it, it was a sorcery that was mastered by one of the four lords, Seath the Scaleless, the dragon in the intro. So he's come here to learn sorcery um, from Seath's archives, basically. And um, Griggs's like cover story is that he needs to come and get um, he needs to come and get Big Hat Logan because obviously he's a teacher and he's supposed to be teaching people, and he's like just fucked off to this foreign country, basically. Um, How did you die? Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for using a katana. Sorry, dude. <laughs> So I don't- I, I didn't mean that. Katana's alright. I just- <laughs> uh, I always like watching people use katanas, because it's every, every first player seems to go to the katana, just because, like, folded steel is badass or whatever. Oh, shit! I didn't know I aggroed you. <laughs> this, um, this is an NPC summon for Solaire, and this is an NPC summon for, for Star Trek, and we're not going to use either of them, because this guy is easy. Now watch me get my ass kicked by him. I think this is my favorite- yeah, no, yeah, this is my favorite boss in this game. And it may be one of the most iconic in the series. This is Gaping Dragon. Um, basically, the concept of this enemy is, um, um, if you remember from the intro, dragons are, like, these ancient, beautiful, um, wise creatures, noble and, uh, and, um, like, powerful beyond comprehension. Like, they are the original, the original life that kind of, um, unwaveringly guarded eternity and all that, all this kind of, uh, stupid fan fantasy shit, right? <laughs> um, so they were, like, the ultimate creature. Um, what happened to this one is during the war with Gwyn, this guy ended up trying to infiltrate the city of the gods by going through the sewers. 
and at some point he made a whoopsie and got stuck down here. And um, this is bad news bears for Gaping Dragon because uh, originally he didn't look like this. He looked like one of the normal, like, you know, from the intro, like, huge, like, an everlasting stone dragon, like, beautiful and majestic and all this stuff. And at some point he started to starve and he went, well, I'm really hungry and the only thing to eat down here is like feces and dead bodies, basically. So that's what he started eating. And um, eventually, he, his body evolved to accommodate for his new diet. And so he developed this um, disgusting, gigantic, gaping maw. Um, and the teeth are made out of his ribs, a la headcrab zombies from Half-Life. Um, so that's what we're looking at right now. That big, gigantic mass of teeth used to be his ribs. And um, that little thing on the end that we were looking at, it, that used to be his normal head and teeth. <laughs> there he is. I love this boss. Um, yeah, so he's kind of a really tragic character because he used to be like this beautiful majestic creature and now he's like this disgusting fucking, like, parasite, <laughs> basically. The Murakumo is not upgraded, therefore it will be weaker than the, um, than the Zweihander. That is just an unfortunate fact of life. Now, we have two choices. We can go back up to the surface. Or... We can, uh... Nah, fuck it. Next episode. We're upgrading this. And then we're gonna... Oh! Oh! No!